everyone. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round three of the Concordon Galactic Championship Qualifier here in Sydney, Australia. Well, Dion, how are you in Australia? I'm actually not in Australia, but this one's based in the Sydney, Australia time zone. We we have we are figuratively traveling around the world and it is the amazing thing about being able to play online right now is that we can play with players all around the world we've been in europe the united states now australia here we go so for all of these events we have been teaming up with different content creators from around the community and this one is a fearless gun darks community team up how's it going gentlemen very well thank you oh. All right, go ahead, introduce yourselves. Oh, maybe. All yeah, right, we've I'll got uh, Adam Sherman here from the Fearless Gun Dogs and uh, Odin. Yeah, and yeah, I'm Odin. Um, we also would love to welcome one of our locals and one of the bigger content creators and producers in our little society nobby who's on stream at the moment so with his disgustingly disgusting five a-wing list <laughs> um so yeah do you want us to start jumping into lists yeah let's go ahead and break them down moving through why not okay cool so let's get, we've got we've got nobby here and we've got locky they're both australians Nobby's a fearless gundark, as Odin said, from up here in New Zealand, and I think Lockie is a Victorian player. Hang on, hang on. Up here from New Zealand? Sorry, say again? So you said up here in New Zealand. Oh, sorry. I meant <laughs> Queensland. Sorry. Um, I, as the senior gundark, I'll let you take Nobby's list, and I'll, I'll grab the opposition. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so Nobby has got a disgusting list. It is uh, five A-wings. I've played against this list a number of times. Do not like. Do not like playing against it. Um, <laughs> so we'll run through it. He's got a Tally with Proton Rockets. He's got a ZZ with Heroic and Proton Rockets as well. Then he's got Zari with Heroic. And then he has two Blue Squadron Recruits that both have Advanced Optics and Heroic. Yeah, it's, it's a nasty, nasty list. Um, on the other side, though, we have Kylo Ren Naked. We have Major Von Reg with Daredevil, and we have Quick Draw with Fire Control Systems, Special Forces Gunner, and Afterburners. So, um, I believe that Nobby is going to be mostly um, in it behind initiative here. Um, I think all of... I think he actually got given initiative, so all of his ships will be moving first. Um, Adam, who do you think's... Who do you think is going to win this one? Mate, my money's on Nobby. Um, I love to hate Nobby. Um, everybody knows that. Um, you know, <laughs> he is a good, he's a good friend, a good squad uh, member as well. But I, I love to hate him. And in this match, I'm barracking for him because he's a gun dark. I'm a gun dark. We've got to watch each other's backs. But um, his list is, it is just too disgusting. It is, um, the fact that those A-Wings can fire out the rear, like rotate their arc and fire out the rear, the maneuverability, it's just, it's through the roof. It is is a very strong list. And Nobby from day one has been playing A-Wings. Um, not necessarily five A-Wings, but he has been playing, uh, well, uh, Lulo and all the rest in between. Um, so he's very, he's got lots of reps with those A-Wings. Yeah. Um, I As I said, it's, it's hard for me to vote against a fellow Gundark and I... I honestly don't think I can with this matchup. Um, I, I've seen similar matchups before, and I know that the First Order has a lot of firepower in this list and a lot of control. But since adding those, adding proton rockets, the the A wings have an amazing alpha strike, which is what they had or, always been missing. Um, I believe I've seen Lachlan, I've commentated on Lachlan before, I believe, and he is a fantastic player, so he definitely does have a good chance to actually win without our team bias. And real <laughs> quick here, I uh, want to remind everybody, the bets are open for one more minute, so get your Choose Your Champion bet in here. And this round and all of our rounds are brought to you by Curl Paw Creatives. Use that coupon code. 
Concord Dawn 2020 for 20 percent off. Thank you to so everybody who has supported us and of course our um, our sponsors. Now, one of the things I do want to talk about in this matchup is Nobby is the first player, which means that uh, you said uh, Lachlan is his name on the right. So yeah, um, Lockie. Lockie. You know, he does have the positional advantage, at least when it comes to Von Reg and quick draw. I think it's going to come down to whether or not Lachlan can, uh, whether Lachlan will be baited into constantly chasing those A-Wing. Because that, that's usually, when an ace player starts losing to A-Wings, is when they're taking these range three shots and the a wing just able to keep peppering in them and they're constantly chasing. One thing that I have found to be really successful when playing aces against these A-Wings is, is switching out A-Wing targets as they get fed to you from the A-Wing player. But, ooh, interesting right here. We have quick draw two in a three bank. That is really aggressive, and it's going to be in possibly four arcs. Quick draw, Ben Brock, maybe? He, yeah, not only that, he's got a proton rocket to the... Uh, potentially a proton rocket um, coming up in the next turn. Or if that is range two this turn, he is in the bullseye. So, and that will hurt. Um, one question I do want to extend out to both you and um, Dion, Adam. What are you thinking of the rock deployment? Who do you think that favors? Well, not the rock deployment, the cloud deployment anyway. Dion, you go first if you like. Um, I mean... <laughs> I think it honestly favors the A wings because they're not. It's not quite tight enough that the A wings are going to have trouble moving around. Like you have space in there for the A wings to actually utilize the barrel roll and the boost, uh, which can make those back arcs really nasty. But here we go. We have our first shots here. Quick draw. Looking at our options for a target lock. Gonna take it on tally. Probably hoping to try to strip that focus token. One one thing about Tally is he is in the bullseye, so Tally will if that is range three, Tally will be rolling five green dice. Yes, she will. It's a great Gross. ability on Tally. Yeah. Von and Reg, e even if she's not in range two. Von Reg coming in to help. There's the assist. Both those aces sitting in between those clouds. We'll see if that ends up being. Uh, a Ooh. good move or not? Pretty aggressive there from Von Reg and Quick Draw, and it is uh, it is pew pew time. Here's the first shot. Uh, ping them in the ping the box, ping the box, Nick. Come on, Nobby, get it together, mate. Oh, oh no, Got that it. is. Just enough to pass through. And this is range two, so Quick Draw is going to be eating that Proton Rocket. And second shot, only one hit as well. Even after the FCS reroll. He does have... Yeah. Ugh. Um, for anyone who's wondering why A-Wings are so disgusting... It's the maneuverability behind um, the green dice. Those green dice, having three green dice with a innate boost barrel, uh, uh, sorry, focus boost, is just a very hard to deal with ship. Hit crit. Good news for more. Oh, oh, that's not good. Quick draw is going to be losing two shields right there. That does trigger the quick draw ability, but n not having done any damage yet to uh, to tally feels super bad. I think you spend the target lock if you have the opportunity to here. Oh well, you can fire control system. There Oof. we go. That's better. And tally there is, is the going to. Yep. That was the use, yeah, using the ability and can spend the focus to uh, avoid three damage. I think you should. Don't get greedy. I know you want that proton rocket. Yep, he's going to go ahead and spend it. Come on, Nobby. You know what to do. And yeah. that's just going to be one shield on Tally. Good boy. 
it, it's too much of a risk there to take a crit um, unshielded, because a direct hit just destroys an A-Wing. All right, here we go. Next shot, this is Kylo from downtown through a cloud. Hit crit, likely doesn't do any damage. Needs one symbol to get be fine, and yes. Yeah, that's their May wings. Uh, Tally didn't shoot. We had uh, the bonus attack from Quick Draw and then straight into Kylo. You are correct. There we go. There we go. Sorry, I, I know. I know it's something that comes up a fair bit, is when you get out-of-order attacks, it throws a few people yeah. off. Alright, one. And oh, yeah. one evade. So, if Nobby can strip that final shield off of Quickdraw, that nullifies Quickdraw's ability for just having one shot. <laughs> yeah, that always feels bad not being able to do any damage with quick draw. One crit. Are there any optics there? Yes, optics for two. Yeah. We're fine. No, we're not. Oh, well, there's a third die. Fell out the box. Got it. Quick draw looking happy. I still have one more A-wing to shoot. The final A-wing. <laughs> two hits. Two hits because that's what A-wings do. Oh my goodness. Oh, Quick draw nice. getting out of this with only losing two shields. <laughs> blessed. Absolutely this blessed. <laughs> this is good for Lucky. This is good. That's the best he can hope for. Yep. All right. So looking at the positioning there, Quick draw able to hold on to that shield going into this next round, which means that bonus attack ability will be live one more time. And uh, with Kylo on the flank, we'll see where they end up. What do we think is going to happen in this next turn, gentlemen? Uh, yeah, I totally think uh, that Quick Draw here does a one forward or a one bank. He focuses down. He uses his target lock to power into one of those A wings. That's his only chance. The worst thing about that is Quick Draw probably can't get out unscathed because you see he's looking down the barrel of about four A wings there, turning in. And is that Zari, the blue ship down there? No, that is... Zari is green. Zari is green. Yes, yep. So she's going to just probably put a little bit of pressure on Kylo there um, just to, like, maybe block him or something along those lines. Uh, Von Reg might catch whatever the A-Wings don't deal into quick draw. So what, what I'm expecting here is Nobby's going to try to block quick draw and Von Reg. He's probably oh, going to yeah. do a two straight with both Blue Squadron Recruit and Tally. Um, that should block the short maneuvers. Um, yeah. And if he can block Quick Draw, it's very likely that he'll also block um, Von Reg, or Von Reg mm -hmm. won't get an action because to avoid the block, he's going to have to go over those gas clouds. Um, I could see Kylo turning in hard and just trying to um, pepper the flanks of the A Wings and apply pressure but he will be dealing with Zari as well. Copy that. So, it, it's... The engagement is definitely, I think, advantage to Nobby here. However, as the engagement goes on, Kylo is going to be a big threat to those A-Wings. Yeah. He does can't, have a target lock already. Yeah. Can't, can't speak for Loki. Um, definitely can't speak for Nobby. Veteran player, probably, I would say, how many games a week of X-Wing do you reckon he puts under his belt? god at least five i would say way more than five i would say he probably puts about 15 games under his belt in real life not just on tabletop so i mean this guy experience he's flown this list a lot he definitely knows exactly what he's doing um so Lockie is going up against somebody who has a lot of reps under their belt and repetition is something that counts a lot for in x-wing in my opinion um oh, knowing yeah. your list well yeah, exactly. Knowing your list well, knowing when to run, knowing when to stay. And Nobby is, even though I've said before, I don't, I, I love to hate Nobby, he is very good at X-Wing. <laughs> I, I feel like every, every one of the Gundarks loves to hate Nobby. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think that's just but, an Australian thing, Dio, is how we, uh, if you uh, give a lot, if you feed someone a lot of uh, hate, then you probably actually like them. So, you know, we will probably hate on Nobby a fair bit here, but don't get it the wrong way. We do, we do love Nobby, but also we hate him. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fine. Oh, I get it. I get it. You rag on the ones you love and that's, that, that's what happens. Okay. Yeah. And here we go. A wings are turning in here. There's a two bank from the first blue squadron recruit. And there's a two forward. I like the Maybe move not here. An upper block. Here's the. That's a good one. Yep, going at Kylo Ren, assuming the two straight, probably the five straight might be able to jump over for Kylo, but uh, it's a good, it's still a good spot. I like it, and taking the target lock on Kylo, most likely not being able to get a shot this turn. That is a safe action. I like it. Very smart. Very smart. The two turn there does nullify the fact that the uh, Von Reg ability got missed. Honestly, the Von Reg ability is most of the time, 99% of the time, pointless. But, um, you know, it does, does happen sometimes. But for anybody who was wondering. Yeah, because, it's like a little added extra, right? Yeah. Well, you would have, uh, Tally would have taken a strain from, uh, or, or a deplete from Von Reg. But then Tally did it too hard, which then gets rid of it, so. Oh, that, uh, I think Lockie saw that. He saw that block coming in, and he's done the hard one there. Very good, very good, Lockie. Good play. All right, so should be able to boost around and uh, and get a shot here onto that blue squadron recruit sitting out there. My my only concern with Lockie turning in now is he does have a Zari chasing up his rear. Um, and for Kylo, you know, probably not the worst. I mean, Zari can literally bump into the back of Kylo and still take an action and gar almost guarantee a shot. Mm -hmm. um, that That is Zari's ability. She can bump and still take an action. There's a barrel and, yeah, to the he... outside. Yeah, I, I agree. I think out of all the A-wings, to... that's probably the best one to be chasing. Yeah. Especially a higher initiative ship. Um, but this is quite a common kill box that we see with the A-Wings, is if he gets a bump on the Blue Squadron recruit, then it's undefended. Quick draw's not... well, Quick is not likely to survive getting shot by at least three other A-Wings. Well, um, let's see. Let's he... see what Rocky pulls out here. Mm. Ooh. Oh, no. That that's probably even worse. Yeah, looking for the talon, um, not the talon, the sloop, and didn't get it. Yeah, yeah Tally was able to block that. that. Von Reg does get away with the five straight. Von Reg does need to move, however, to not take a range one rear shot from Tally. I'm feeling very disappointed because of a uh, quick draw now. Doesn't get to shoot yeah. anything, loses his bonus, uses, loses his his ability. Um, that is a real bummer for Lockie. I mean, we did see Quick Draw survive a lot of shots last turn. It's not impossible that um, he comes away with this, not losing that shield. It's unlikely, but it's not impossible. No mods. Why wow, was that one range, one one probably two range, two shots? Uh, I don't like I mean, I, I don't like them either, but he did do it last turn without mods, so... Okay. Just roll natties. <laughs> yeah, just, just roll natties. Just roll better. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. the difference in this one is the fact that there's a couple of range one shots in there. So here we go. We're taking a deplete. From, uh, I said that weird. A deplete token uh, <laughs> on Von Reg to take the uh, <laughs> the deplete onto... Uh, for. The tar target lock on Tally, and we're getting the boost as an action from Von Reg, giving some options for next turn. Could go left or right, 50-50 decision. Probably going to the right if you're taking the target lock on Tally. And here's our first arc check. Tally no shot because we had quick draw bump into there. Range two from ZZ to low into quick draw. Nobby, get him in the dice box. Not Nobby. <laughs> Nobby. 
All right, got one and two. Hit crit. He's Rolls one evade, card. and that's that last shield. Triggers the ability, but again, nobody to shoot. So shields are gone for nothing. Yeah, Kylo's like up. So, three. Range three. One thing that is... Yeah, I, I will finish this thought after we roll these dice. Here we go. And that can be three if he spends a force and is. He's choosing aggression here. I like it. Hit, hit, crit. Bum, bum. And natties, baby. That's how you do it. Yeah, well, one thing that plays in the A-Wing's favor a lot as well is they're moving last, so they know if they can spend that focus. Mm-hmm. Here we go, another two dice coming in. The barrage continues from these A-Wings. Bending the target lock. Got it. We're fine. That's this is it. fine. Good, good. Unfortunately, that's the roll he needed for quick draw. Coming up. Next shot. One out the box. Let's go ahead and increase the gravity just a bit. Yep. Hit crit. Hit crit. Natties, baby. Yeah, all right. And last shot, range one from the Blue Squadron recruit. And with dice like that, that recruit's going to get uh, promoted soon. That's going to be two more damage on the quick draw. And, yeah. Yeah. Quick draw survived the turn, um, despite all odds. <laughs> but at what? But at what cost, all father? At what cost? <laughs> the cost of losing the bonus attack. Quick draw. He got to burn bright. Got to get gun on target. Unfortunate that he couldn't uh, get his sleep there. Yeah. And of course, he quick draw is now stressed. So very predictable. Um. I would not be surprised if we just see one hards from um, at least ZZ. The one hard from the blue squadron will bump into quick draw. Um, Tally will probably just turn around the gas cloud, keeping the rear arc on targets. It's it's not looking good for quick draw, and Von Reg is also potentially in a kill box. I think the best thing you could do here so is you just relieve from the, the chat, stress. It's going to be another quick game. <laughs> Maybe. I, I think the best thing that Quick Draw can probably do is one or two forward to clear the stress, turn the turn the arc around, and just get a shot before you die. Like you just try to do some damage. Do something. Correct. That's it. Correct. I uh I don't know if it's gonna be a quick game. These A Wings take a lot of time to deal damage, and now that it's down to two ships for uh Lockie, um, you know. Be it that they're aces, he should be able to dodge a few arcs while still being able to get shots on a ship. So, one, one thing though, Nobby hasn't spent a proton rocket yet. So, they can make quick work of the aces. They can. Um, I mean, he's got to get he's got to get those proton rockets on and the condition to be met. So, yeah. Whoops. Sorry about that, everybody. I just cut them off there. <laughs> He's back. He's back. He's yep, back. Sorry He's about still... that. Go ahead. I, I accidentally clicked on the Discord window. Go ahead. <laughs> um, We've taken over now, Dion. You can't not allow back in. <laughs> <laughs> so, Adam, if you're lucky, how do you claw this game back? You, are, you, you haven't lost yet, but you are at a clear disadvantage, potentially losing quick draw this turn. Uh, personally, I would move uh, Kylo in to capitalize on the ships that are going to attack Quick Draw because Nobby should be focusing on Quick Draw and finishing him off. I would move Kylo in to take advantage of probably maybe one A Wing's turret turning or something along those lines. Try and get as much damage on A ship to try and even the odds. Von Reg, I would, I would definitely not chase anyone in that um, situation. A little bit too predictable. So maybe turn around, come back in for another pass. Two aces going against one A-wing, definitely achievable. 
I would you like to see Von Reg take a one hard and then boost and just try to disengage and re-engage with Kylo in the following turns? Okay, so he's got Daredevil, correct? Yes. So you could one hard, do your Daredevil trick and barrel roll or barrel roll Daredevil, whichever the order is, to try and turn back around 180. But I think that's a big gamble because you're going to have, I would assume <clears throat> at minimum, you're going to have at least three A-wings in that little area there um, that, that has been set up. And here we go. Three straight from the blue recruit. Taking the barrel roll. I think right there, that's trying to catch Von Reg if Von Reg goes towards that top right hand of the board. Boosting even. That's an aggressive play. I like it. Takes a stress. And here is the next blue squadron. Taking the two, probably turning the arc. Yes. Takes the focus. He's hiding behind those gas clouds to try to protect himself from Kylo. Zari's oh. up next. Ooh, gonna clip that cloud just a bit. And takes a strain. I, but you know what? Honestly, not too bad for Kylo. Uh, excuse me, not too bad for Zari because she's still gonna be behind Kylo. Not gonna get shots and likely will still have a shot on Kylo. At least put a little bit of pressure out there. Another gas Correct. cloud for Zari. No action over there. Will take a strain. Remember... Von Reg does have a target lock over there. That looks looking like a juicy target, but she does have her arc points to the back. And here is ZZ, the ace. You need to triple check your action, your um, distances, bud. <laughs> <laughs> and there is the boost and the focus trying to block quick draw. Kylo, two forward. Oh, uh, I want to hit the gas a little harder. Yeah, the slower move is definitely a uh, a move with the intent to use the reposition to get yourself in a in a better position. But I think you're right. The gas would have definitely put him in a more advantageous position, at least to start off with. Maybe be able to do some more advantageous actions. Ooh, that caffeine's hitting. I'm starting to feel good. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way. Can you, can That's you guys tell? <laughs> yeah, we need that hype. Um, I've I've played a fair. I would say I've played quite a lot of Kylo in 2.0. Uh -huh. um, and I think he could have been safe to do a three there at a minimum. But he's uh, he's been a bit cautious, and I understand that. Two ships left. All right. Two. A bank here. Uh, a boost going in between those clouds. Quick draw. Okay, there we go. The one bank will take off the stress. Focus, rotate, and just try to punch ZZ in the mouth. That's what you got. That's what you got. You yeah. take it. Because your target lock right now is out there. I guess you target lock. Maybe. Does the target lock even matter? Uh, probably not so much. Backing on. Quick draw surviving. Focus. There's your focus. Yeah. That gives you the chance. Then you, you hope to roll natties. And then you have focus for defense. That's your hope. Even though you do have three shots coming in. But hey, this first order was built off of hope? Question? <laughs> <laughs> Confidence, I think the first order was built off. Uh, something along those lines. <laughs> uh, quick draw did not rotate. D they're talking um, about it right now. Mr. Rocket Crocker, Nobby is honestly one of the nicest and most like good-hearted people I think you'll ever meet. Right, he just flies let, this. Let, let's get some. <laughs> let's get some some BB eights. Let's get some BB eight thumbs up in the chat. Nobby's actually the one who said, "Hey, guy, uh, turn your arc," because <laughs> um, Lachlan just forgot about the rotate. Yeah, right there. He is. Yeah, Nobby is a good guy. He is. He. Uh, he's not the type of person that will – he'll want to win fairly. Like, he will definitely, like, yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Three dice out the back. Two plus range one. Ooh, the temptation. Spend it. He's done it. She's going to burn brightly. 
Oh, oh. The heroic. There we go. Oh, the heroic trigger. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I oh, put heroic. that in the try. Get out. <laughs> okay. And well, yeah. he's going to still take a shield. So, the funny thing is, um, Tally, uh, is it Tally? That's I'm trying easy. to hover over the ship, but there's too many target locks in the way. Um, I believe it's Tally does not have heroic, so if that was, ta he was shooting Tally. It's easy. It's easy. Yeah. No, no, but if he was shooting Tally, there would have been no heroic reroll. All right. And oh, no. whiffs on that attack. Quick draw liking this. Come quick draw saying like come on. Alright, another range one shot. ZZ used their ability to take a focus, not an evade here, so they had an offensive token. We'll be able to use advanced optics to make it two, I believe, or is there's no optics on that one? There's no optics on that no one. No optics over there. Rolls evades. On proton rocket. Mm. I am super surprised. <clears throat> she might be able to get out of this. Mm. All right, so you have obstructed shots all over the place right now. He has an unobstructed shot on the teal blue recruit. Yep. Um, however, he's taking the range one on the orange blue recruit. No, uh, that's. I think mathematically, that's the incorrect choice. You should go. You should go into the blue one, one hundred percent, because it's not obstructed to the blue one. Mm. All right, he switched. Okay, okay he, there we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that is. That's right. All right, here we go. I know he wanted to strip the token, but that it's. Oh. You know. Oh, there we go. Hit, hit, crit. Uh, you weren't. You weren't gonna. Uh, able to get a shield. Oh, he's no. He took the obstructed shot. Apparently, uh, yeah, no, that's just, he needs yeah. to re-roll all three. It should have only been three greens. Yep. So he'll re-roll uh, the three dice. Oh, uh, her heroic. heroic. Yep, heroic. All right, that's, that's a decision here. And that is a crit onto the blue, blue recruit. Shield, shield crit. First order making a move here, taking a damage sensor ray on that blue squadron recruit. That's the way. Good. And uh, that is Nobby's catchphrase. He does yell heroic out when he when he needs to use it. So, he oh, does. I heard it on the table, Mac. Then Mike, I heard it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I heard it. Yeah, I feel like I heard it just from um, Pavlovian response. <laughs> <laughs> All right, two hits going into Kylo Ren. Kylo's fine with the gas cloud. All right, this little A-wing that could, trying to get Quick Draw. Quick Draw still living on one, has been able to avoid all this stuff. Here we go. Uh, Heroic trigger, and only and uh, got two, got two. Yep, the, and got that's it. Quick Draw. Oh, uh, that was tense. So this just became infinitely harder now for Lockie. Yeah. That's for sure. He needed quick draw to do more damage on the way through uh, before he passed out. Um, but in saying that, that little 1A wing's got some damage on it, which is it's really not enough at this stage. He needed to really knock that out. But... Um, it's, it's doable. He, he could still be in a good spot. So, yeah, I think if he would have came came out of this with two A-wings limping on one hole, I think Lackey's in a better spot. I'm sorry. I think I, I just uh, went over Odin. Sorry about that. No, it's all good. So one, one thing I want to ask you guys, after seeing Heroic trigger three times this turn, do you feel like it is a one-point upgrade or do you feel like it should be more? <laughs> um, no so response. there, there, there is a uh, uh, Bohan Lee did a really great article on uh, on heroic and the effective effectiveness of heroic in the hero in the uh, I was about to say the heroic faction. 
in the resistance <laughs> faction. It's it probably should be worth two points. Yeah. Honestly. Um it probably should be worth two. But uh yeah. Like I, I mean it, the problem is that it's so it's so situational, right? Like we, we can see we can see heroic like absolutely make you feel the worst when it doesn't do anything like blanks to blanks. But I've also we've seen enough stream games where a player goes blank blank and then all hits. Like being I've seen all all ends of the variation there. And um yeah, it's it's kinda crazy. I think it was the stay on the leader um blog who did a recent article on advanced optics and the A Wings in the current meta. And he was um, talking about how Heroic is basically... It's a great upgrade for good players because it reduces the variance if you're flying well enough. Oh, yeah. Um, which is definitely worth a read for anyone who is thinking about picking up a, some form of this list. Um, but yeah, I... How, how, do, how does Loki come out of this now what would you do Odin? honestly yes <laughs> I, 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 I no think don't lie to me, to me. Man. <laughs> lie to me uh, on, honestly I think I would be disengaging I, I think Von Reg is in a perfect position to disengage oh um, cloaking <laughs> I, I think Kylo is not in a good position. He's flying into a kill box. Um, on, honestly, I would be taking the too too hard just over the gas cloud, or um, even moving a little bit faster, and just trying to escape that kill box that Nobby has very well set up. Uh, sorry, expertly set up, I should say. Agreed. Um, and just come in and keep both those ships relatively close together and just try to keep maintain fire and take out those ships. Um, it, it's, it's not like you don't have time with roughly 40 minutes still left on the clock. Yeah, for sure. Um, and this is the trap you come into now. So you've either got to push hard and try and finish off one of those A-wings, which, I mean, Nobby would be expecting that, um, or you've got to start whittling away at the others and then you've still got the same number of ships on the table. Yeah. That's the pain yeah. point about this list. We have the damage sensor array um, coming yeah. in here on the blue one. I just I just so. uh, pointed out to them in the in the chat they had missed that with the with the rotate. Now here there's there's an argument here uh, in the chat, an interesting one about advanced optics versus taking proton rockets in a uh, A wing list. Um, I know it was just the Stay on the Bleeder blog who who um, who talked about that one. I actually really disagree with the proton rocket. I like the proton rockets. I just but my problem with them is with RZ two A wings is why would you like the advanced optics lets you play more with the back arc. I like it better. Um, it lets the A wing be the A wing chassis. I don't know. I, I like. Yeah, I like it. Um, I it was just a very interesting article on just in general. Um, so talking with Nobby ahead of this, um, so this was a few weeks ago. Uh, his, the Proton Rockets are there to deal a bit of extra damage in the first engagement or maybe the second or at the end game. So the A-Wings problem, they're ticklers. They go around and do a little damage, a little, you know, that's why a thousand cuts type thing. But with the Proton Rockets, you can have a little bit more punch behind what you're doing. So I understand why he's done it. Yep. If that makes sense. Um. <laughs> Sub Hedgehog does bring up a really good point. Um, he, I think Sub Hedgehog was one of his previous opponents. Not only are they do they pack a punch, but they also force you to play differently because you can't just come up against them. You've got to be yeah. worried about them getting that off. So you're All right, well, actively trying to avoid. Here we go. So Von Reg did take a turn here. 
we are going to take a range two shot at ZZ. Right now, we got one hit just for one. That's going to be absolutely fine. Now, Kylo in a pretty good spot. Only going to be taking one shot from one of the blues. Nope, nothing for Tally. ZZ likely doesn't have a shot. Uh, just the initiative one, so Kylo is up. Range two on the blue squadron. I like this this shot better than going at ZZ, able to try to take something off the board. Trail mix, one of each, spending the lock. And that's going to be three if he spends. Both force, he does. He wants to try to get the ship off the board, and that will do it. He needed that. Yep. He absolutely needed that. 2v5 just seems so unmanageable, uh, even for a very good X-Wing player. Mm -hmm. And here we go. We'll see if this uh, this little blue squadron makes him pay. I love the value on the blue squadron for the price. Absolutely amazing. Two hits. No force from for the... Uh, nope, it. doesn't need it. Kylo doesn't need it. Um, what One thing that... Because um, I've been speaking to Phil GC recently about flying Hyper Aces and Guri Fen. One thing that he mentioned when flying two Ace-type ships is you just need to eliminate the number of firing arcs so that they can do their thing. Um, taking out that blue, squ uh, blue recruit is just such a big step in reducing the number of potential shots you're taking. Mm -hmm. um, if he can take one more A-Wing off and not lose either ship, I, I think Lockie could potentially take this game fairly easily. Oh, yeah. You're definitely you're looking for the snowball. You're looking for the snowball. Do you right. want Ma to... Madam Juke in the chat just asked, how can I yeah. play a game with you, Dion? I'm not very good, so you'll totally win. Hey, it, we're just here to have a good time. If you type exclamation point LN in the chat, you could sign up for League Night, and that's how people sign up to play with me uh, for League Night. That's something new we just started. That's how you get the sign-up list. Anybody can be a part of that, by the way. That is, that's a trick. That is a trick. Madam Duke is a very good player. Oh yeah, just mess, just mess <laughs> oh, with me. Oh yeah, she it, is a very good trap. player. Don't. Yeah, that's. Yeah, no, no, what's, no, no. What's her What's her name? Because I might I might even know who it is. Who is it? Uh, it's, Jackie. Her name is Jacqueline. Oh, I know yeah. who Jackie uh, is. Nah, yeah, trying to troll. Nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I know who Jackie. I see. I see you, Jackie. Bring it. Bring it. We, we are bad. in Australian spring. <laughs> That's true. All right. And so yes, it looks you're like right, these, Darth Jay. If these A wings are trying to get some uh, firing arcs on the Von Reg, who is both stressed and strained. <laughs> Excuse me. I feel like everyone knows Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> Do you help people who haven't played TTS? Actually, uh, I'm planning on doing a TTS masterclass. Um, it's completely free for anybody who wants to learn how to do it. Probably going to schedule it for uh, next weekend. Uh, next Friday, I think, was my plan of doing it. So stay tuned on our Discord if you want help. Uh, probably going to do like two or three of them in a row. Like a little uh, hour master class, just learn the basics of TTS, learn some little tricks, get more comfortable playing so we can get more people playing. That's a brilliant All right. idea. And Kylo. Definitely should. Moving forward. Yeah, definitely should put those on YouTube as well, and um, we can throw them everywhere for anyone who's interested in getting involved. Yeah, we can definitely record it. I wasn't planning on streaming it, though. I'll probably just record it, uh, mostly because I, I really want to, like, <laughs> I, I, I've been kind of joking with people. I have accidentally been preparing for remote teaching 
when I started with X Wing, uh, cause there was a there's a, the meme kind of going around with teacher with uh, like teacher groups on Facebook where it's like only thing you need to be uh, a competent uh, remote teacher and they list all these things like all this technology and all these skills and I was like wait I have all of those <laughs> thanks X Wing but anyway I digress here we go Von Reg is gonna take a deplete. Gonna try oh. to do the roll. That's not gonna fit. Not able to arc dodge. And that's the thing that's so hard. Like in my opinion, TTS very very hard to gauge distance versus uh, real actually life. the forward barrel roll did fit. Uh, forward barrel roll did fit. Yeah. So excellent. I, I I feel like it's just a matter of getting used to um, flying in TTS. Because once you can figure out those distances in TTS, it becomes fairly similar to flying in real life. Mm -hmm. Look, Odin, I'm, I'm an old man, mate. I don't want to change my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Fair. Now, um, aces are in the corner. That's a great question. Chilling guy, 85. Normally, you don't want to put your aces in the corner, but he kind of didn't have a choice with the current situation. And I'll be honest, this is... Best case scenario, he's able to get Von Reg turned around here. No shots into Von Reg. Kylo's going to take nothing either. I mean, this is not a bad term to be in the corner. Yeah. And th this is where we see the advantage of perfect information. Um, as soon as you know where those firing arcs are, you can dodge them. You may not get shots, but you can at least avoid them. Yes, and important to note here, the uh, Daredevil boost by Von Reg is, is how he's able to get in that position. Daredevil boost giving you a hard one boost as an action. Of course, it is red, though, so that's why um, Von Reg is stressed out there. It's wild. It's the wildest combo. You don't take a break at all, do you? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Probably do the hand check, uh, Hang on. There it is. All right. Now, anybody who's joining us, I do want to remind you of a couple of things. We are live every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday here on the channel. We've been trying to keep those numbers for our weekly shows uh, up in, in the hundreds. Uh, about 110 is what we're looking for because Twitch has refused to give us partnership, uh, even though we have met all their, uh, their, their pre prerequisites for that. And uh, we're just trying to show them. And I've been saying, like, listen, uh, we're, we've been challenging our people to keep us above 100 uh, for all of our streams. And everybody who's tuning into those weekly shows, thank you guys so much. And uh, looking forward to being able to get that partnership for you guys, which, honestly, the biggest thing we want, we just want more emotes. Who, who doesn't want more yeah. emotes in the chat? It's true. E emotes are amazing. Like, I have so many more ideas and like we, one thing we were doing is we were doing um, we were doing emote like uh, as a as a giveaway. You being able to choose an emote to put in the chat, but we got a really good one. Somebody asked for a Jawa, and I kind of made it like a saucy Jawa, and it's beautiful. Like it, oh, is, yeah. it is, it's fantastic. It's the interesting Jawa, and I haven't done another giveaway for for emotes because I like it too much. So. Right now, we're just waiting on Twitch. And honestly, we, we put in an applica our application again, September, f uh, sorry, August 15th. It's been over a month. They said they'd be back to us in seven days. So they're thinking mm. about it. They're thinking about it. We got to keep showing them. We got to keep showing them. So you may have answered this before, maybe in another platform or something along those lines. Just, but just for me, um, Dion, mm -hmm. uh, would you ever consider switching to another streaming platform? Um, if I switched, I would probably switch to YouTube for, Copy. for exclusive streaming, but, uh, yeah. the, the benefits on Twitch are good. I'm just trying to, yeah. trying to get more, just trying to get more for our people. Yeah. Copy. Uh, yeah. Personally, myself, I've gone to Facebook for streaming. Mm -hmm. I just found the interaction a little bit more, um, What's the word? It's more engaging for people, I think. But um, that's just my point of view on my streams. Got nothing to do yep. with uh, you guys. All right, A wings are on the move, trying to trap themselves. 
some aces. So Tally looking to possibly nab Von Reg in that bullseye for a proton torpedo. ZZ, two straight, has that arc to the back. Again, focusing on Von Reg. No, a big surprise there. <laughs> Kylo, one turn. Looking to catch Zari. Yeah, come on, mate. That's going to be a good shot. Has a tar target lock out there and a force. Come on, Lockie. Finish it. Finish the action. We know what you want to do. He wants to boost. He wants to choose <laughs> violence. Let's go. Yeah. Come on, buddy. You can do it. I think he's trying. And there it is. There's the boost. <laughs> Range one. Whenever you can. Excellent. All hail the Supreme Leader. Von Reg, two bank. That clears the stress. Now, this is what Lockie really needs to be doing is like getting rid of A-wings. So that's good for Kylo to be in that position, in my opinion. Agreed. 100% agreed. Von Reg, however, is not in a good position. Now, there is a few, few shots out there taking a deplete. What is what is your plan, Von Reg? I think a barrel roll to the right back and then a boost would probably get you out of most of the arcs. Um, especially with Daredevil. Hmm. Oh, I feel like I don't like that. Like, I don't like that move. Oh, good. All yeah, right, that's, that's going to get him out I mean. of one arc. A uh, barrel roll, and then... And he clips the Zari. Tasty. Here comes the first oh. shot. Got the evade. That opens it up for Kylo. And here oh, we yeah, go. Range, range one. one from ZZ. Shot number one. Oh. Spends a focus. Oh, he has a lock out there. Might be able to get three. Ooh, hit, hit, crit. <gasps> hit, hit, crit. I need a bothering blank out here. Locking no. Uh, that's just two shields. Uh. I don't know that he's got another shot. Yeah, I mean, barracking for Nobby here, obviously. We want Nobby to win, Gundarks, obviously. But a feeling for Lockie right now, right? Like, this is... Man, come on, brother. I think Lockie... Lockie has flown very, very well. Of course um, he I... <sighs> Kylo. All right, Kylo, range one. Target lock, full force. They were able to catch the fact that they uh, should be full and spend the lock. And if you spend both of those, that's going to be four, and it is. Four hits going into Zari. What can she do? Rolling uh, two. Going to be taken two, though. That's half points on Zari Bangal. Uh, also known as Zari Bagels, if you want to have some fun. <laughs> yeah. I feel for Lucky there because he spent all his resources to push through damage and it still wasn't enough. That's That's unlucky. But he honestly is trading up. Um, there is currently only one undamaged A-Wing. Um, and yeah, he just needs to continue focus firing down those A-Wings. 
Oh, yeah, of course. I'm just saying it's very disappointing that he spent all of the resources, all the tokens, all his toys just to push through a little damage, so... Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Mate, it's the feeling, Odin. It's the feeling, man. No, no, like... <laughs> I honestly, I, I am, I am vibing with Loki as well. Um, some, something about the underdog coming in, uh, especially after that opening engagement. But I, I, I just don't know. I, I feel like that's expected damage when you're spending all of those resources. It's just three die, three agility ships. Um, they're just so, so durable when they want to be. Just a, a quick note to everybody watching. The players do have a break after this round, so we'll hang out. It's a perfect time to do those giveaways. By the way, shout out to everybody who was on that sub train earlier. Uh, you guys are absolutely amazing. So we have uh, two of our stretch goals to give away. We're going to give away three of those Concord Dawn pins. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, then we're also giving away the painted ship uh, from Tommy Adams, that awesome Fang Fighter. I got some other cool things for you as well. And uh, we can, uh, since we have a break, maybe play some marbles. Maybe that's how we'll give away the uh, the GSP hammer or something. I don't know. <laughs> now, I want to also remind you guys that uh, if you want to play against myself or the other GSP hosts, type that exclamation point LN in the chat. Fill out that form so that we can play. That's going to be Wednesday nights. All right. We got our first bump here. But that blue squadron recruit is pointed in a direction where those other ships are going. Takes an evade on Zari. 100%. feel like he needs to rotate here. Moving fast, Tycho 1707. We need a rematch from Gen Con. <laughs> get in line, Tycho. Get in line. <laughs> and the answer is yes, absolutely, we do. Huh. Zari taking, so excuse me, Tally taking the two turn and a focus. So, ah, uh. Kylo too hard. Doesn't have anywhere to really go to be aggressive for this turn. Might be a might be a turn to kind of take off. Where where can you go? Maybe take a target lock. You have one. No, there's not one out there right now. Cause you're not getting shot by anybody. Yeah, this is tough. I would sit. I would sit with Kylo. Good positioning for next turn. Mm -hmm. Target lock. Yeah. Von Reg. <laughs> if he was fighting against Kylo, that'd be great positioning, but he's not. So <laughs> where is he going to go? <laughs> same team, same team. I, I, I would just... Really love to see just a daredevil boost here. Um, this moment brought to you by the same team T-shirt on GoldSquadronPodcast.com. <laughs> yeah. so, so strain into target lock into a daredevil boost. Oh no, he, that fits. Yes, it does. And then here's the daredevil boost. Ooh, yeah. beautiful. That looking like an oh, ace, baby. Looking like an ace. I, I honestly here, was not expecting that to fit. Range one Just shot. So close. Four dice going into Zari. Blank. Oh. Where's heroic? Where's oh. heroic? Nobby, Nobby rubbing it in with heroic. But oh. Nobby's just not getting shots. Yeah, Lockie is definitely making Nobby work for this, and that's uh, that's what he should be doing. Uh, 
Oh, shot from downtown. Who would you be shooting here, Adam? It's uh, range three through a glass cloud with a strain for Von Reg or range three against Kylo. <sighs> I mean, yeah, two hits, that's got to do it, but um, we'll see. And yeah. the cloud oh, does cloud. it. Yeah. Much of a muchness, I think, in that case. I mean, there's some math nerd out there who's going to tell me I'm wrong, but it, much of a muchness, I feel. <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I feel like it was, mathematically, it was meant to be Kylo. <clears throat> But he's also helped. He's helped. Uh, he's helped Lockie out by getting rid of that strain, right? Yeah, but it he needs to do a blue maneuver anyway to get rid of that stress. Stressed, yeah. I think he was just looking for that upside. You know, if you can just kind of squeeze in some uh, uh, some damage in there, maybe yeah. even get both. You know, he had hope. Had hope. He did. I've heard that's what resistance is built on. <laughs> so. Right. Currently, Lockie is 38 points behind. I'm just trying to check what he needs to kill here. More A-Wings. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, he, for sure. He needs to halve two A-Wings or kill and halve an A-Wing, essentially. Getting called out in the chat by chat by Josh Fink there. Not a math nerd, but you're wrong, Shermo. Thanks. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, uh, Von Reg is stressed right now. Oh, Should be able uh, to get Adam, around pretty easy. Be here. Go ahead. Mm. Yeah. So if you're Nobby here, how do you try and just finish this game off? Because if you can finish Von Reg, I think you I think you can run fast enough that Kylo is probably not going to be able to catch you in time. It's it's tough. Um, Nobby's very good at using two ships to attack and then taking them out and then bringing them back when they need to come back. So I think he might try and do that now. Um, he's not in the best position to get out and come back right now, right right now. But I think he's setting up for that. Um, and Lockie's in a good spot now with Von Reg to chase some A-Wings um, and put some damage on some stuff. So let's hope he, he capitalizes on that and let's hope he saw that block coming too from the yellow A-Wing there. All right, and there's the rotate to the back, maybe assuming that Kylo could get to the back with a, with a larger turn. Because notice that Kylo is not stressed. A three-turn would land probably right behind Tally. ZZ, a little scared after losing a shield. Ooh, got a little bump after the one turn. Honestly, not a bad spot for Kylo. He will have a range two shot, maybe, on the blue, the orange blue recruit. <laughs> oh, Joff Sanders reminding me about the you know what? I see your name. Jeff, do you have the spoon? Let's see, see if. I'm waiting for the response to see I'm waiting if he actually for the, has a spoon. I, th I think he's, he said he had a spoon. Oh, that's one of the Onyx boys, isn't it? Yeah, I believe he's the one. Oh, he who... said not for this one. Not for this one. All right, well, here we go. Von Reg, range one. Hit, crit, crit. Spend the lock. That's four, baby. There it is. That'll do it. Pushes two right. through. Oh, no. Be. Direct. And a direct. Oh. All right. So that is it. So Zari off the board. Another A-wing bites the dust. 93 to 73. Ten minutes and change left in the round. He's climbing. He's climbing. Kylo might be able to get some more points right here going against the orange A-Wing. Probably spends a force for two. Got no shots coming in. Nothing to lose. Yep. That's free. 
Nah, never mind. Oh! <laughs> no damage there. And that's the A-Wings, right? That's the A-Wings. Uh, indeed the A-Wings. That is unobstructed. Little range three banger. With the strain. He is strained. He does have a focus, though, so he will have three with a focus. That's going to be two hits coming in from the orange A-Wing. Here we go. Need a blank out here. Oh, Not today. Okay. Can get three if he wants it. Yeah. Uh, somebody had asked in the chat earlier, um, what are the different ways we can support Gold Squadron? Actually, if you go ahead and type exclamation point support, there is a document there that, that shows all the different ways that you can support us. Uh, thank you for asking. We really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. So with nine minutes and change left in the round, um, you know, I really like the the momentum that's happening here on Lachlan's side. He essentially needs to take out one more A wing to uh, to get a, to get a lead, and uh, and then hold it. Right? He's had he's got the arc dodging capability we talked about earlier. The fact that the higher initiative does give him the advantage of being able to boost barrel and that little bit of extra maneuverability on Von Reg with Daredevil has made a huge difference in this game. Totally agree. Can we get some heroic in the chat for Nobby? Come on, guys, we need to like give this guy some support. <laughs> <laughs> My job no. is to be, hey. uh, you know, my job is to hate A wings. And that's my first thing, okay? And then, <laughs> and then second is to be unbiased. So, uh, Dion, yeah. I feel like I need to ask, why do you hate A wings? Why? Well, actually, here's the truth. I think they're an amazing ship, and because I think they're so good, I don't like playing them. This is a weird thing, but I know they're really good, and I have a hard time playing against them. Which is really the reason why mm. I don't like them. It's a it's a hard matchup for my brain, and uh, it makes me sad. I've gotten better. Would you guys agree? If you want, if you are a const, if you are a uh, a regular of watching League Night, would you guys say I've gotten better at playing against A Wings? I've gotten better. I, I, I'm not an expert quite yet, but I think I've gotten better at playing against A Wings. So, would you say that A Wings are your most disliked ship in general? Probably. <laughs> Nantex? Evan Nantex? Well, I, I, I love you guys too. Good, right? I got a bunch of no's. I got a bunch of no's. No, you haven't gotten better. That's what I've gotten in the chat. Nope, you haven't gotten better. Well, thanks, guys. I appreciate the love. Uh, I, I know a lot of people dislike the Star Vipers as well. Mm. Uh, excluding the Nantex shenanigans that are happening because of the current points change um i'll tell you what i'm ramping up for nobby on this one i don't care about this x-wing chat man i'm going all in on nob come on man let's do it <laughs> you can do it i don't care about nantex i don't care about any of that stuff come on nobby do it for the gundarks man get out there all right kylo ren trying to barrel roll into a more advantageous position Yeah. And Von Reg three banking. Looks like they're trying to catch that initiative one A wing. Because if they can take it out, that's 37 points, and that would push uh, Lachlan into the lead. Nobby just trying to hold on. Hold on, little A wing. You can do it. Range three, Von Reg into the orange A wing. That's one. Oh. Spends a lock. He did take one. He took a strain, and it's oh. three hits. The aggression there against the unmodded A-wing, that is half points because there's no focus over there. Oh, one more died. They missed one. Takes only one. Okay. That's good. That's good. It's fine. Come on. All right. ZZ. Through the cloud. Probably doesn't do any damage here. Oh, we got a million dice in the box. Look at all these dice. Beautiful. <laughs> and safe after the cloud. And here is Kylo should be up next. Did he get range one? It looks close. It probably is two, though. They didn't check the arc. Uh, 
And oh, he's going to spend both force. I mean, oh. Yeah. <laughs> And that's oh. and gone. Yeah, gone. That's dead. Enough pop, to pop, pop, delete pop. an A wing. That A wing. I'm just gonna, gonna say the now. Wrong neighborhood. <laughs> just gonna say now. Not enough heroic in the chat. That's what happened. That's that's is, why. That is happened. that what it was? A hundred percent. Nobby has five minutes to destroy Von Reg. That is his That's win the game. condition. Yep. He is the squishiest one, but that also means that Lachlan's got to pay attention to that, right? If he gets too loose with Von Reg, that's the game. 93 to 110. I mean, alternatively, if he can trap Kylo and deal three damage to Kylo, that will also score him the game. Right. That's just, a, um, that's just a less, the less likely one, right? It is. It is definitely the less likely one. The harder effort. However, you take what you are given generally when you're playing X-Wing. Hot this advice from the old father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and exactly a, a fish is born. A good proton rocket can win this game. Not if he runs into a gas cloud. Oh, Takes a strain. Be. No actions. That's... He could couldn't quite get around. The second time Z's, I think Tally has hit that gas cloud at the exact same angle. So it was was Tally stressed previously? Uh no. Uh yes, yes she was. Last yeah. Time. So if she was stressed, I mean the three hard. She wouldn't been wouldn't have been able, would not have been able to boost anyway. No. Kylo um, YOLOs Lock through the cloud. Lockie, Lockie just smells blood. He's just choosing violence, and he's going to try to eliminate ZZ. And if he gets ZZ, then that's probably game. Yep. He's probably going to take a deplete. Yeah. I good, would not good, take good a strain here. Lockie. Can't be risky there. Waiting for Von Reg's actions here. I mean, you've got a chance to initiative kill. Oh, why? Oh my goodness, this is this is too aggressive. In my, like, I I I know you smell the blood in the water, but taking the lock <laughs> here, I mean, taking the strain is too aggressive. You're already ahead. If you take damage, oh my goodness, Unless I'm not he a fan. No, he's ahead. There's a oh, blank out. Hit crit. Yeah. No damage. Dodged. Takes an evade. Yep. I mean, it was range three, so he will get three dice into Von uh, from four Von Rig defensively, but he could have had four. Two hits oh, coming in from ZZ. All right, not punished, not punished for the strain. <laughs> the dice are just saying no today. Now, look, I reckon this is probably where you're going to see a bit of difference between, say, U.S. players and Australian players. Uh, uh -huh. Australia guys, I think they tend to be a little bit more aggressive, yeah? Dev, I mean, yeah. <laughs> for, from my experience as well, yeah, they, they tend to be a lot more risk-taking than um, most other countries. Oh, I'll, I'll, did you guys, I think you guys just have a bunch of anger management issues. We just got to get you into therapy. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. De definitely <laughs> would help, I think. Definitely would help. Show me on the doll where the emus hurt you. <laughs> well, I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of things there to kill you here in Australia, you know? It's be an Situational awareness, you got to be ready, mate. You guys yeah. got to watch out for Kangaroo Jack, too. Uh, and the drop bears are the biggest problem. The drop bears. They, they've, they've run out of tourists to eat with COVID locking down the borders. <laughs> I, I do I do have to mention, so um, 
last year when we, when we were able to do the world tour and I was in Australia, I, I planned to go to Australia. Um, love my mother, love my mother, but uh, she was like literally scared for my life. The fact that I was going to Australia because you know the only thing she knows about Australia is like uh, she likes watching those like uh, like monster hunter movies or not movies yeah. uh, shows where they're like oh yeah. the most dangerous animals in the world they're all in Australia. She's like oh my god, <laughs> and then and then of course of course somebody got her to believe that drop bears were real okay hmm. which is hilarious absolutely hilarious it was great wait drop bears aren't real what <laughs> <laughs> john uh, sanders says thanks funny. guys beer just came out my nose you're welcome all right that was the time there <laughs> oh and he's missed out oh like by nothing Oh, just another reason to hate Nobby. That's a joke, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just missed that completely. Uh. All right. Oh, Kylo man. sitting range one. Oh. That was a good move from Nobby. If he can catch Kylo... Uh, barrel roll boost and boost barrel roll and you're you're out of there. There's no reason to take a shot. Just get out of there, Kylo. Yeah. Kylo is strained. Kylo, so. get out. It looks like he's trying. Yep. Hashtag best Adam. That is correct. Best Adam, thank you. Oh, he did the bank boost. Uh, I thought he would do the straight boost. I don't know if he can get out with, with that. It's going to be a range two. But probably he's going to be fine. He hasn't taken any damage on Kylo yet. <laughs> oh, Von Reg. Hello. Hello there. <laughs> oh, no. Just uh, put the pressure on and just didn't let, let it go. This is great. Good work from Lockie. Now, I think... Word on the street is Lockie was going to be on the Mercs team for our OTC. Yeah, that is word in the chat. Uh, Here we go. All right, Von Red goes first. <gasps> Ooh, that's money. Oh. Does have the focus? Does have the target just, lock? Just spend the lock. Don't 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 get greedy. There it is. All right, that's fine. Yeah. Hit hit crit. You just need Natty's here, Nobby. Oh. Oh no. Got the half that's... points. Nobby Chan, no. Just you, that. You know what though? He's gonna go him. down fighting. He's gonna go down fighting. Never I give up. I think that puts him down to needing half points on Kylo. Yep. Two hits. Kylo can't take more than two damage, and you need three to get half points. That's all she wrote. Takes one. He still has another shot. But no. All, all right. The... Uh, how many points is one reg in this list? Let's 57. Over. 28? No, that does not do enough. Takes a crit. Could kill him. Oh, sorry. Could, yeah, could kill him, but uh, not going to be enough. Fuel leak. Fuel leak. All um, right. Good game. Congratulations to Lackey for the win.